All right, Donald Trump is still defending his controversial statements about Thursday's debate, despite pushback from critics who say he's been sexist and crude. Now his rivals are concerned that Trump is damaging the party. Nancy Cordes has more on the Republican backlash. Well, John, obviously I never said that. In the face of massive blowback, Trump did damage control on four Sunday news programs. Do you think I'd make a stupid statement like that? Who would make a statement like that? Only a, a sick person would, would even think about it. I've had such an amazing relationship with women in business. Trump was trying to explain why he said this on CNN about Fox News host and GOP debate moderator Megyn Kelly. He starts asking me all sorts of ridiculous questions. And, you know, you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes, uh, blood coming out of her wherever. He was steamed about a question Kelly asked him in Cleveland last week. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs. What I say, and oftentimes it's fun, it's kidding, we have a good time. What I say is what I say. Afterwards, the real estate mogul unleashed a stream of harsh tweets about Kelly, sharing one comment from someone who called her a bimbo. The tirade prompted his longtime political advisor, Roger Stone, to resign, saying, provocative media fights have overwhelmed your core message. I can no longer remain involved in your campaign. Trump's top opponents said he's hurting the party. Do we want to win? Do we want to insult 53 percent of all voters? Thank Mr. You. Trump ought to apologize. The kind of rhetoric we've heard of late uh, from Mr. Trump just is not appropriate in the presidential election. Carly Fiorina, the only woman in the GOP race, weighed in on Face the Nation. I think women of all kinds are uh, really sort of horrified by this. And Kelly said her um, questions so were meant to probe be, every like candidate's Kelly. weaknesses. Know, if you can't get past me, how are you going to handle <laughs> Vladimir Putin? Nancy Cordes joins us now from Washington. Nancy, Donald Trump is making a lot of media appearances. He's all over social, social media. Is he helping himself or digging a deeper hole? Uh, I'd say definitely digging a deeper hole, Vlad, because uh, not only has he uh, said he has nothing to apologize for, uh, but he continues to make uh, these crude comments, not just about Megyn Kelly, but about a host of other people who have criticized him for those comments. Uh, you know, he just tweeted again this morning, uh, hey, you think I'm bad? Check out some interview that Megyn Kelly did five years ago. So it's now been five days since she asked him what was really a very reasonable question which was, you know, you've said all these things about women, uh, the kinds of things we don't normally hear from presidential candidates. Please explain yourself. Uh, and he is still fixated on it at this point, so much so uh, that he is still going after Kelly after all this time. And now, you know, saying things like uh, people are sleazeballs or buffoons uh, if they criticize him in any way. You know, Nancy, amidst all of this, this controversy, there are some serious questions about his issues, the important issues, his stand on them. On Morning Joe this morning, he said that he wanted to put boots on the ground in Iraq. If you go to his web page, we've been doing this all day. You look at his web page, there isn't a tab there for issues the way every other Republican candidate has. And we know that his co-chair in Iowa is Ta uh, Tana Gertz. She was a apprentice finalist who is also known for doing these bedazzler commercials. Uh, is that the way for she says she wants to keep the race uh, classy and professional? You know, I have to say, as someone who has tried to pin him down on his positions, uh, it, it's incredibly difficult. He will say in the same sentence that uh, he thinks that climate, cha climate change might be a little bit man-made, but that he doesn't think it's man-made. Uh, he might say that uh, he might be open to uh, a pathway to citizenship for illegal immigrants, but actually he's not open to it. Uh, so even within the same conversation, uh, his positions change uh, and his proposal change. Uh, so I think that this is uh, something that he says will not be a problem. He says, you know, uh, we're getting to it. I'm going to tell you what my positions are, what my plans are. Uh, but even when you try to pin him down on things like, hey, you say you've got all this evidence uh, that the Mexican government is sending criminals to the United States. That's a pretty explosive charge. What's your evidence? Uh, he'll always say, oh, well, I've got it. I've been told it. I'm going to show it to you later. Uh, but it never appears. Nancy Cordes in Washington. Nancy, thank you so much. You're welcome.